Joining me now on this episode of Locally Source EP is Mr. Dr. Edward Verna of Kids Dental and Orth- Orthodontics. I'm sorry, almost almost said orthopedics, but it's orthodontics. <laughs> How are you doing today, good. sir? I'm doing great, uh, Ray. I'm doing great. I, 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 I want to thank you so much for uh, joining us today. And just, just so you know, you are my first uh, dentist and orthodontics business here locally in El Paso that we're um, having on the show. So it's so cool to have you on. I'm very excited to be on here. Woo! <laughs> Dr. Vera, let's talk a little about, you know, um, what is Kids and Dental Orthodontics all about over there? You know, I started this office, uh, Kids Dental and Orthodontics, because in Socorro out here, there's really uh, a need for more dentists to come out here. And I saw there was a great need. And a lot of people that live in Socorro have to drive really far to go to the nearest dentist. And I thought, you know what? What better way to serve our community than to open up a dental office that's convenient to all these people in Socorro? Currently, I think I'm one of the only few kids dental offices out here in Socorro, uh, Texas. So I'm very, very happy that we have this office and we offer these services for all the kids that really desperately need a lot of help with their oral hygiene and preventative care. I mean, I, I know you say it to all the patients and you say it to all the parents, but I mean, how important is dental health, especially at a young age for the kids? It is extremely crucial. Unfortunately, uh, you know, life has a cycle. And when we're young, uh, we really don't care. When we're teenagers, we really don't care about our teeth, our dentition. When we get older, 20s and 30s, we still eh, don't really yeah. care. And when we get older, 40s and 50s and 60s, that's when everything comes uh, knocking down and says, hey, you've neglected your teeth for the past 40, 50 years. Now you're going to pay the consequences. And it's really unfortunate that a lot of people end up losing their teeth because they weren't shown, they weren't educated how critical it is as a young kid, two years old, three years old, uh, to do those oral hygiene habits that are supposed to be a lifetime, not something you do right before going to the dentist. Like, oh, I got to brush my teeth and floss because I'm going to the dentist. Right. This is what you have to do two to three times a day, every day of your entire life. So when you get older, you'll have your teeth. Yes. And, and you know, those dentures suck. <laughs> they <laughs> you- suck and they can be prevented just by doing preventative care. Preventative care, super easy, brush floss, mouth rinse, and most importantly, to visit a dentist twice a year, especially a kid's dentist, not in general. Two times a year, year. yeah. Twice a year to prevent bad stuff from happening because a lot of the times we can find the disease before it becomes a problem. So if I voice it out to the parents, this is where we have to concentrate more at. This is where we need to floss more at. Mm -hmm. We can prevent that oral disease from happening. And it's a win-win situation for everybody because the last thing anybody wants is to be uh, someone to have someone be drilling on your teeth. You know, that's never fun. Period. It is never fun. I, I, I unfortunately am one of those uh, people you just described about, uh, you know, not really being taught as a kid on how important uh, uh, teeth care, tooth care is important. Uh, Now that I'm in like, you know, my early forties, I'm, trying to make sure i keep these things they're still all real but i mean I, it's it's been rough these past, especially this last year not going uh, past couple of years not going from covid and stuff having the cleaning and stuff like that it it is so important to do that and it 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 and when you have the problems it 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 hurts <laughs> it, it hurts and it's just a really really uh disease that we can actually prevent mm-hmm. uh and we prevent it just by flossing and brushing but uh, realistically a lot of kids neglect their oral hygiene because uh, they weren't uh, educated from a young age. So I applaud all the moms and dads that bring in their kids at six months of age. And we start seeing them and we put them on the right track. And that way, when they're five and six, they already understand about sugar bugs. You know, sugar bugs are really bad. Yeah. Gum yeah. disease is really bad. Versus when I get it like a 14-year-old kid that comes in. Uh, the first time at the dentist, his gums are all bloated, red, bleeding everywhere, d- oral disease everywhere. And that little kid, that 14-year-old kid 
does it have the same advantage as that little six months old baby mm -hmm. that comes in on a regular basis on a scheduled, uh, you know, twice a year, every year, and they understand significantly a lot more than getting a late start as a 14 year old that comes in with a lot of oral disease. Yeah. Like the first sign, the first like sign of, uh, when I took my daughter, uh, of stuff like that, we made sure she, you know, she brushed her teeth correctly. She brushed her gums, flossed. And then the first time, um, they orthodontists had, had suggested braces, boom, braces. Like we just, we want to make, I want to make sure that her and my son don't go through the same thing I've gone through being neglected, you know, the, with my oral care, especially <laughs> since I was a kid. So like, yeah. I'm, 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 struck, I'm, I'm the guy struggling that you just described. That's like, you described me perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's so important. And, but you know what, if they do have cavities, we're here to, to give them a great experience. Mm -hmm. We're here to give them a good experience because, uh, you know, what's very common is a lot of people don't like going to the dentist. Mm -hmm. we're, we're really trying really hard to change that that way. When the kids coming here, it's really more about the patient experience and preventative care than these other offices that might not have the best interest in their kids. True. We really try really hard to give the kids a great experience. We allow the parents in the operatories with us. You know, we give them a VIP treatment because at, at the end of the day, I think a lot of the society has lost that customer service uh, skill where you walk into a store and the people that are working there are on their cell phones <laughs> and they're like, you know, hold on, I'm busy right now. I'm on, uh, I'm on Facebook and you know, the person's working, but they're on social media right? and the whole customer service is like, Hey, aren't you supposed to be helping me? And that's really gone downhill in society. But here at uh, Kids Dental and Orthodontics, we really, that's one of our main uh, goals is to give every patient a wonderful experience. It's a patient experience because no matter how much uh, disease I remove in one session, if, if I don't treat the patient right, they're not going to come back. Yeah, You know, if the kid doesn't like us, they're going to say, mom, let's go somewhere else. So my whole team is really, really focused on giving our kids just a great experience, making them laugh, making them feel like they're at home and just giving them as much support as needed. And then we do still have our kids that are very scared. You know, some kids have that uh, innate uh, characteristics where they are, they're just very scared and they're right. very like uh, reserved. Uh, not every kid's the same, uh, as uh, as I hope everybody realizes. Not every kid's the same. Some kids are more outgoing and other kids are more reserved. Uh, for those kids that are reserved and a little bit uh, have anxiety, we do offer oral sedation where they come in. We give them a little drink. They feel significantly a lot better. Mm -hmm. And we get through the experience a lot better. Uh, the kid lives happy. We get rid of the disease. And at the end of the day, that's what we're really trying to do is make a big difference. And, uh, and all these little kids and get rid of that, all the, get rid of all that bad oral disease that they, they may have. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, uh, that was, that was kind of leading my next question about uh, customer service. Cause uh, I mean, I I've seen all your social media posts and your staff and your facilities seem amazing. Like you guys are, uh, even when I was messaging you to get you on the show, whoever, your your whoever was running your social media time was very polite, uh, very informative. I mean, and it was just talking about coming on the podcast, so I really appreciate it. And uh, I I just you guys, uh, if you all are wondering that there, uh, you guys are on social uh, social media is on. You guys are on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you are you guys on Facebook as well? Do you know? We're on Facebook and we're on a TikTok as well. Oh, at, TikTok. Uh, oh, cool. at KDO El Paso. Okay, well, I'll make sure I put that in the description yeah. below for sure. Yeah. And you guys are located at 10670 North Loop Drive in El Paso, uh, over in Socorro, but it's still under El Paso, Texas. Correct. It's uh, 10670 North Loop Drive here in El Paso. And you guys' phone number, in case any of the parents want to call to uh, make an appointment with you guys, it's 915-444-2567. Yes, sir. All right. And and yes, sir. I have, one, I have one of my superstars here. Oh. Juan, come down. Like I got one of my superstars here. His name is Juan. Uh, parents love this guy. Wow. He's always, uh, <laughs> has a lot of energy. He's positive, and the kids really love him. So wow. that's so awesome. I mean, you guys, it, it's rare to find a facility and a staff that that you guys make kids feel so comfortable. Yeah. I mean, like like uh, Doctor Miller was saying that. I mean, some kids just don't feel comfortable, and it also helps 
more often when staff like you are great with the kids. Uh, no, it makes a really big difference. And, you know, at the end of the day, the experience is what it really what matters uh, for these little kids that come in, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, and they really just want to be taken care of the right way. So right. we're really happy to be able to provide that service for them. Nice. And I think all your, uh, your let's see, your five-star, over a thousand Google reviews is has a testament to you how great you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> we, really, we really try to be positive. We really try to be, uh, you know, good people and really try to, uh, provide a great service for uh, everybody that comes in. Yeah. All the kids. A that's lot of parents. Great. A lot of parents want to be seen, but we're like, no, we only treat kids. No, that's so, awesome. Uh, that just means that you guys are good customer service, and they they're not getting customers great customer service where they're at. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. That's we're good. so we're we're doing a great thing, and we're helping out as many kids as possible. So we really appreciate you uh, helping us, uh, Ray, by. Uh, reaching out to us and letting us know because at the end of the day, it's all about our community and, you know, community yes. helps the community that community grows, you know? So I, I, I applaud you, Ray Jackson, oh. for uh, inviting me <laughs> on your show. I'm very honored. Thank you. No, thank you for being on. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to say or add before we end today? Oh, I, want, I actually want to introduce one more team player. Let's do okay. it. Come on down, buddy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> The more the merrier. Musician too, so he likes to sing. (laughs) 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 You know, the the day. uh, (laughs) That's so awesome. Um, I'm glad you guys have a great camaraderie over there. You you guys are are close. (laughs) That 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 also helps with the customer service. So I mean that that's so great. You guys have that relationships. Well, thank you, thank you, and we really try. So come on down. We'll see you here and. Mention Ray and you'll get a special uh, treat. All right. All right. Sounds good. And then again, that's Kids Dental and Orthodontics over in Socorro, uh, 10670 North Loop. I'll include all the information in the description below, linking to you all your web page, all your social media. That way they can get in contact with you guys and get some, get some cleaning on their grill. Awesome. Well, thank you, Ray, for having us on your show. Okay, I really appreciate it. Dr. Vera, thank you. And again, I'm going to compliment your uh, Mario Brothers uh, font on your name tag. Just want to show how nerdy I am. And- <laughs> thank you. I All appreciate right. it. Thank you, guys. <laughs>